tonight's experiment, we have Bluetooth audio coming in up here on this device, and it's going through each one of these equalizers. It goes down, up, and then from the bottom all the way to the top to a Technics receiver, which has an equalizer in it. We have a total of 15 EQs, and they are completely enabled, meaning that the EQ circuit is turned on, but they're all set flat. And what's quite remarkable is the sound at the end is quite good. It's not like it's, it's bad or heavily distorted. In fact, there's not even a lot of hiss. Um, that actually surprised me. So anyways, I'll go through uh, a few of these just to take a look and give you some more details. Here's a Sansui 10 band. Got this around 1989 or 90. Sold it to my friend Andy and he uh, graciously gave it back to me um, a year or two ago. But it's a 10 band with an amber display. We have an Akai here. This is Akai's kind of their flagship model, the EA, EAA7. I'm missing a button, but this one goes for a lot and I bought this cheap. Right here is the Technics with a microphone. I think this is their most advanced and probably one of their newest equalizers. But this is the SH8066 and it has the touch, uh, the, the touch ability to change the, the bands. And then down here is a Kenwood, one of their larger ones, the GE7030. Um, and this one has a jog dial, which lets you go to each frequency. The only problem with this is it doesn't have a lot of different modes. I would think that this would do a little bit more. Um, same thing with the one up here. You have a spectrum analyzer. Um, you can kind of like turn this on or off, but the fact is there's no other modes. This one here is one of my favorites. It's the SH8055. This also has a microphone for calibration. This one has automatic calibration, but this one is manual. So you can hold a microphone in the room and get your levels to um, where you should be properly calibrated. This here is a little bit more of a budget equalizer by Technics. And then this is one that's a model up, which has the kind of the membrane or the, the flat touch. Down here we have a Kenwood. This particular one is uh, a preamp. So it's actually a preamp, but it has an EQ in it, which is nice. And then down here is another Kenwood. It's, it's the GE 1100. What's interesting about this is it actually has a reverb. So you can turn the reverb on and add echo to it. I'm not a huge fan of reverb, but I think it's a cool effect um, because I like things that light up make noise and um, do things. I just think it's kind of neat. Um, so I like that. But um, anyways, those are the ones in this pile right here. We'll start down here. This is an ADC. Some of these are also branded as BSR. They were also sold by DAC Catalog. But this is actually one of their bottom of the line units because this is not a spectrum analyzer. You can adjust the different levels on here, but um, there's no actual spectrum analyzer or any other effect except for the meters that you see here. Above this is a Kenwood. This is the GE76. Um, I like the dual uh, spectrum analyzers. It's almost unnecessary to have two, but you know, back in the 80s when they made this, the more lights the better, and I'm okay with that as well. Here's a BSR. Um, this was probably sold by DAC Catalog, but this is actually a 14 band. Um, Really interesting one. I remember picking this one up at a Goodwill, and I don't have the remote for it, unfortunately. But uh, pretty good unit. This is my first EQ from when I was a kid. This is the TEC EQA5. Um, I was probably about 13 years old when we got this for the family stereo, and it still works. I had to relamp it. Up here is an ADC. This is a similar one to the one down below, except it's newer, and it also has a fluorescent spectrum analyzer. And finally, uh, I'm kind of cheating here, but this is the Technics SAR430. It's a 100 watt amp. And this has a built-in equalizer. So um, this is the only one right now that actually I'm applying any type of sound to because the rest of these are flat. I play with them and the minute you start applying sound, it gets so messed up by the time it gets to the amp. Um, it sounds terrible, but I will tell you right here, it sounds great. So anyways, that's my equalizer collection, and then we'll see uh, what else I do tonight with this.